I dread coming to this site. I really do. Why? Because I can never leave it without spending money that I don't actually have. Okay. I know a lot of you are collecting the Audubon birds. And I know quite a few of you own the Junomi 12,000 machine. And some of you also have the Junomi MBX software. And you've bought these designs and I've been buying them since the first one came out because I can stitch these on my big machine. It's not a Junomi. The 12,000K came out and I thought, wonderful, they too can stitch out these big Audubon birds. I don't have to go for the pokey little 5x7 designs. I mean, these are absolutely stunning when stitched out at, at the large size because you get to see all the detail and all the colours. Now, we need a colour change sheet. Now, the PDF is very useful insofar as it gives you a reference point. You can look quickly at this to know that colour change one is going to be that smoky blue. And you know that when you get to colour change 45, it should be this dead brown. And if it's not, you've gone wrong somewhere. So by all means, download the PDF. It's great to print it out and have it beside your sewing machine. As I say, it's a good reference. Now, there are 83 colour changes, and somebody made a comment about that being they couldn't believe a design had that many colour changes. Oh yes, they can, and a lot more. I've got designs which have got more than 100 colour changes. These are the actual colours used. There are 33 of them. Some of them may only be used once, some of them may be used half a dozen times. But these are the actual colours, and they're all in Madeira Rayon. Now, so many people say, well, have you got a conversion chart? Hang on, why do you need a conversion chart? Look at your stash, see what you've got. Got any colours that look like these? Use them. Because don't forget, whatever you're stitching on is going to alter the way your colours look as well. well. That's by the by. So download that, because you've got your picture reference, you've got your colour thumbnail references. The most important one, if you are an Embered owner, is the text file. Download the text file. When you've got it, and I'm just going to diminish this, I don't want to close it, I want to pay a little trip there in a minute, put your text file into the folder that has got your bird. Now I've got my embroidery library folder, that's the parent folder. I've got a folder called birds, and inside my birds folder I've got a folder called Audubon's Birds. I haven't got them all in here. I've still got to sort out a whole pile of files. Now, up here I have got the morning doves. And you'll see in here I've got my text file. I'm just going to take that file out. I don't want it in there. Delete. Yes. Okay. There's my PDF. There's my text. There's my unzipped design. So I'm going to close this. And I'm in Embered Manager. There's my text file. There's my DST file. I click on my DST 
Now normally when you've got a DST file and you don't have, let's get an order, um, a different bird. That's a Jeff, so I don't want that. Um, DST. What are you? Here we go. That's a DST file. I haven't put it into its own folder with a text file. And a DST file carries no color information. What it carries is needles. That's what all these are. Needle 1, needle 2, needle 3, needle 4, needle 5, and so on. You assign colors to your needles. That's how it works. And you need a color chart to work from. I just saw this and I was wondering what this is. No idea. Oh, it's to that one. Now, this one has got a text file and you can see the colors are totally different. So let's go back to Audubon's birds because that's really what we're all about today. And the DDT file. Oh, honest to goodness. Now what Embird is doing is reading that text file for the colors. And that's telling it that at needle one, it needs a specific Madeira rayon color. At needle two, it needs a specific Madeira rayon color. But of course, this information never goes to the machine. It stays in the computer. You can print it off, or you can do what I'm going to do, right click into it and tell it convert. And you give it a format. You come over to your hoop size. I don't think they've got, no they haven't got plain Jeff and they've got Jeff Plus. Now neither one will give you the size you need until you get your hoop and you want the Janome MC 12000 GR hoop 230 by 300 millimeter vertical your machine uses a vertical orientation hoop okay tell it okay oh and tell it center in hoop Design has more than a hundred thousand stitches. Well, we know that, so we're going to say yes. Because it asks the question, continue anyway. Yes. Conversion completed. And now we have a Jeff Plus format. Okay? Don't waste your time taking it into MBX and trying to resave it as a JPX. It will not do it. It will tell you it's got more than 100,000 stitches and it won't allow you to save. I know because I just tried it. So we're going to go into Embered Editor. And there's our design in Embered Editor. Now there are lots of ways to split a design. There are the very slow, painful ways. There are the dead simple, not so painful ways. So I'm going to show you one of the simplest ones and leave you to read anything you can find on splitting elsewhere because I don't have two days to sit here and put it all on a video. Now I'm going to have to finish this video here because I have a feeling I've been nattering on a long time and then I'll bring you back at the same point in the next video. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes.